What's up guys? Evans V here. Today I'm uh, taking you behind the scenes. I'm doing a special project for me to paint canvases uh, or actually backdrops. What are canvases or backdrops? Uh, I don't know how you call them. It's called backdrops really. It's something that a lot of high-end photographers use in their portraiture. So you have the Annie Libovitz, the Mark Seligers, and a whole bunch of like really high-end photographers that use backdrops as a way to create texture. So I was interested in seeing how I could get it done because there's, there's a lot of DIY methods out there and uh, today I'm showing you my spin on it so we're gonna do two backdrops well one today I'm gonna do a neutral gray with a bit of uh, white texture as a as depth or as scratches so hopefully I really hope it goes well because I'm 100% not sure what I'm doing but uh, a lot of my friends are giving me tips about how to get it done so I'll be taking you behind the scenes and showing the steps that I did to get it done uh, again this is my first time doing it so I might be doing completely wrong, but hopefully it'll go well. So here's the space I'm working with. It needs to be cleaned up um, so I can have the backdrop completely laid out. So time lapse in three, two, one. <laughs> Step one is actually done. We're just going to place, as you see in the time lapse. And then, um, so I went to Home Depot uh, or any uh, hardware store that you have, and got two things. I got one, a painter's uh, plastic tarp, so I can protect my studio, so I don't clean dirty the floors. And two, we got a painter's cloth. Uh, what it is it is a big tablecloth, uh, painter's cloth. Basically, that's going to be the actual canvas. So the plastic is to protect our floors, and the cloth is just to be the canvas. And uh, that canvas, uh, it's not that expensive, it's like $56 in Canada for a piece of that. I guess in the States it's about $45 to $40, I would think so. Uh, because in Canada, everything is just more, more expensive and yeah, great country, but cost of living. Right now we're going to lay the plastic tarp so we can protect the floor. And second, we're going to land the actual painter's cloth. And then I'm going to see, I'm thinking of cutting it in two because it's quite large, the one I got, because I wanted to make two of them. So I'm going to start with the first, the gray one, just to be, get some experience. And then I'm going to move on to another one. So stay tuned, time lapse coming in. So the first bit is done, um, we just laid out the actual plastic wrap. So what we're going to do afterwards, we're going to simply, um, I have to measure the actual canvas of the, um, the backdrop, so I make sure it's within the right sizes. So if I check quickly, right now we got a um, 14 by 12 uh, Bennett, no clue of the brand. We're going to cut it in the size that is actually convenient, one to transport and also to, to, to actually be convenient for a posing. So I'm thinking of um, keeping the 12 feet alive and basically cutting into, so I have a seven by 12, which gives roughly a pretty large canvas for someone regular size. If you look at a universal or a savage backdrop, which is a pretty popular one, they're typically like nine feet, I think, like these things. Uh, we'll see what it yields afterwards, but uh, again, another time lapse coming really, really soon. I'll be cutting the canvas in two. Okay, so that thing is actually humongous. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna cut it in two. I'm a bit surprised of the size. So because of its sure size, I think uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna cut it in two so I can get uh, more canvas out of it. And also it's gonna be my first run. So before committing fully to like a mistake. <laughs> let's let, get a lesson, lear lesson learned first and then uh, we're gonna like, say, improve on the technique. So I'm gonna cut it in two. 
uh, in two pieces. Right now, I think it's 14 by 18, like as I showed before. So I'm gonna cut it in two and then uh, see what it yields. Uh, steaming the actual uh, cloth so it doesn't uh, wrinkle because from uh, what I heard if ever there are wrinkles in the actual cloth it may cause uh, actual wrinkles long term in the actual in the actual cloth backdrop so something we try to avoid and so I spent the last like 15 minutes doing this so now I'm gonna lay on the floor and um, find a way to staple it on the ground because I forgot my stapler and it's a mess so I'm probably gonna use some thumbtacks and try to stretch it to the ground like that the actual uh, backdrop stays in place one and two we can also um, keep that thing stretched and make sure the paint actually keeps it in the hold together so that's it for now uh, so next step which is step number I forgot here's the next step next step so now everything is packed and ready uh, to get going to start painting so I'm gonna change and uh, I'm gonna change and get going. So, changing. So, we're changed. Uh, outfit of the day, hashtag OOTD, um, looking real fashion here. So, I'm gonna get cracking, uh, start painting, start mixing the paint, and uh, applying actually the first coat, which is the most exciting part. So, B roll right now. Tub, or whatever you may call it. So next step is start to start painting. So time lapse in three, two. Uh, so this is day two of uh, the actual painting so uh, the goal is either one to finish the base layer which looks actually pretty good and second of all do um, actually the actual uh, sort of texture uh, because I bought an acrylic plus primer paint I think I'm gonna have to dilute the paint to like maybe like a one quarter to three parts ratio uh, of uh, paint and water so that's gonna be our challenge today um, that's pretty much it. And an important note that I forgot to mention, um, uh, also that process requires me to start adding more um, different colors. Because if I use just layers and layers, layers of gray, um, it won't show. So I'm gonna add a bit of white just to make it a bit brushy, if that's a term or a word. 
and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna add a very little from the start, from the start, just to see how it looks, and then I'm gonna build on this. So again, I'm just taking the really long route, or the long safe route instead of the short, quick one because, again, this is my first time. So we don't want to fuck it up. We're gonna do it properly, and uh, that's it. And uh, I kind of like the results, the black one came out really great. 